During this class, we're going to continue on with last week's lesson. This is learning how to borrow the deflation of our body that comes with each out breath to enter stillness of mind. In the previous lessons, we talked about how to create the foundation for our mindfulness of breathing practice to create our viewing platform in MIDL. We talked about the different stages of our meditation. The first one is learning to ground awareness within our body. And on this grounding awareness within our body, we develop the two levels of mindfulness. Can anyone remember what they are? That's right, the first level of mindfulness that you're cultivating on your body is remembering what you're doing. Remembering that you're just sitting here. The second level of mindfulness that you're cultivating on your body is remembering the experience of sitting here. Then we moved on to mindfulness of in and out breathing. Again, we cultivated two levels of mindfulness. The first one was remembering what the breathing is doing. The breath is coming in and it's going out again. The second was tuning into the experience of the breathing and remembering what, how is it that I'm experiencing this breath? What is my experience of this in-breath? What is my experience of this out-breath? And that's those different flowing, changing sensations within the breath. So you, you can see how we're using these two levels to cultivate mindfulness. The first one on our body, the second on the experience of breathing within our body. Then we change the way that we're aware of breathing. Moving from mindfulness of breathing back to mindfulness of body again. But instead being aware of the experience of our whole body as it breathes. Again, we cultivate those two levels of mindfulness. We remember that as this breath comes in, our body is expanding outwards. And we remember that as the breath's going out, our body's deflating inwards. And we discussed last week how as the breath comes in and our body expands outwards, we just open to whatever we're experiencing now. We open to the experience of our six senses, the field of our senses, to sounds, to visions, to smells, maybe tastes or sensations in our body. We're open to any emotions, any pleasant or unpleasant feeling we're open to thoughts, to memories, to views, opinions, to doubts. We're open to any movements of our attention out towards things in attraction or movement of our attention away from things in aversion. We're open to our mind in its natural state as it interacts with habitually with these six sense fields. We then talked about softening, relaxing our relationship towards those sense fields. This is cultivating that third level of mindfulness, the deepest level of mindfulness. The level of mindfulness that remembers this is how I'm relating towards 
what I'm experiencing now. It's concerned with our relationship, our attraction, our aversion, our indifference. And regardless of how your mind is relating to this experience, you do one thing, and that is, it begins with an S, <laughs> soften. That's right, we soften. We use the skills we learned in earlier weeks, the MIDL skill of softening, of softening, relaxing into what we're experiencing. Breath comes in, our body fills, and as it goes out, we soften. We relax with each out breath. And so this created these three different stages of cultivation in our mindfulness of breathing. The first one was development of presence through being mindful of our body. The second was developing one pointedness of attention through being mindful of the in and out breath. And the third is being mindful of our relationship towards what we're experiencing now. And this is done with the expansion and deflation of our body as it breathes. Now we start to move into stillness. And this is where we pick up from where we left off last week. As your breath goes out in your body, as your body deflates with each out breath, what you do is you align your awareness with that out breath. Align your awareness with that deflation. No longer paying attention to the expansion of your body, but paying more attention to the deflation of your body. The natural relaxation that happens within your body as the breath goes out. And as you align your awareness with the deflation of your body, you relax along the length of that out breath. You abandon all effort. And you just be aware of each out breath all the way to the end. As you do this, two things will happen. Your awareness will start to not go out towards the sense fields. It will start to disentangle. but you also start to become more aware of the end of the out breath. The very moment that deflation ends. And at the end of that out breath, there is a pause, a gap. And sitting in that gap, you'll start to notice when the in breath begins. Then you're aware of the in-breath, aware of the out-breath, notice the breath end, sit in the gap. And you'll become aware of that in-breath drawing in by itself autonomously. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, in our earlier training, Am I Deal Mindfulness Training number six of 52, And we talked about that in week six of these classes. The ability to observe the natural breath. Remember what we did was we sat down, relaxed, we breathed out, relaxed and wait, and allowed the breathing to come in by itself. 
we develop the ability to give up control of the breathing and to observe the natural breath. This was training for this part of mindfulness of breathing. We're training that ability to observe the breathing free from control. Now we can take that same training of breathing out, relaxing and waiting, but we apply it to the breathing while we're not controlling it. At the end of each out breath, you can relax and wait. You don't have to take the breath in, just trust it. The breath goes out, you just relax and wait, you trust. You trust that the breath will draw in again. Now I'd like to just place a word of warning in regards to struggle here. If you find there is control in your breath still at this stage of mindfulness of breathing, that you feel fear waiting for that breath to come in again, perhaps you're not actually autonomously breathing. So remember in previous weeks we discussed how breathing can be observed in three different ways or is happening in three different ways. The first one is breathing can be observed as being physical. That means controlled by the brain. Autonomous breathing. This is diaphragmatic breathing. The breath comes in, it goes out. There's a pause between the breath. And when the carbon dioxide level is low enough, the brain says, breathe in again. So we get a pause in autonomous breathing. We get a pause at the end of the out breath, a gap in the beginning as the in breath is drawn in by itself without your control. If you find this difficult, go back to MID or mindfulness training number three of 52, retraining your breathing patterns. If you're stressed breathing in the lower or upper chest, you won't be able to develop this level of mindfulness of breathing. And you need to go back and then train over a series of three to four weeks your breathing patterns to autonomous diaphragmatic breathing. But let's try this as the training now. We're going to try MIDL6. But what we're going to do is we're only going to do one intentional breath out, relax and wait. And then each time the breath goes out autonomously, you follow it to the end, you relax and wait for the breath to come in again. So we're not controlling it. We're learning just to observe it. Notice also in this, you'll start to notice the habitual tendency of your mind to interfere, to control. When you do, soften, relax it. Eyes closed over, just sitting here. Aware of your whole body, present. Now slowly breathing out, relax and wait for the breath to draw in. And every time the breath goes out again, relax and wait for it to draw in again. No control, just barely observing, experiencing each breath and relaxing at the end of each out breath.
relaxing in the gap. Okay, you can open your eyes. We can start to observe now the autonomous breath free from control. And this is what we're doing at the level of our, this level of mindfulness of breathing. We're aware of the breath coming in our body, inflating, expanding. And we're aware of the deflation of our body as it goes out. We follow that breath all the way to the end, just like we did then. Observe the end of the out-breath, sit in the gap. And we wait for the breath to draw in autonomously by itself. Once the breath settles, you'll start to notice that the end of the out-breath and the beginning of the in-breath will become more clear to you. As they become more clear, the expansion and deflation of your body will start to disappear. At this stage, you bring your awareness from the end of the out-breath, the beginning of the in-breath, and you focus more on the stillness within the gap. You take that stillness within the gap as your object of meditation. And as your awareness of that stillness of the gap grows, the gap will seem to grow. Your only task now is to observe every time your awareness tries to engage with anything. Engage with a sound, engage with a thought, engage with a sensation in your body. And you, you soften, relax, you abandon that engagement. This is that training we do a little bit later on in um, the MIDL training's calming mental activity. Notice any time there's effort within your mind to do anything at all, and you soften it. This softening disentangles awareness from experience, from sensory experience, experience of the world, experience of the mind. And as awareness disentangles from this experience, it starts to become free from it. It's no longer drawn out and engaging. Now you'll still be aware of this sensory experience, but there'll be no going out of awareness towards that sensory experience. As awareness disentangles, the stillness will start to arise. Your task is to just keep relaxing any effort until awareness is fully disentangled from all sensory experience. This will leave you with awareness of awareness itself. But this awareness of awareness is still entangled. It's entangled in being aware of being aware, that effort, and also entangled in your effort to disentangle. First, notice the effort to be aware of being aware, that mindfulness aspect. And then soften, relax that effort to be aware of being aware, disentangling awareness from itself. And then notice the effort to give up effort itself and, rala and, sorry, and relax, abandon that. I nearly abandoned it within my own mind. It was disentangling from this talk. <laughs> so you notice first that effort to be aware of being aware. You relax it. You notice the effort to relax and you relax, abandon that itself. In this way, awareness fully disentangles and we've gone beyond words here. There's nothing more I can say in this talk. 
A question I'm often asked is, when do you do each part of mindfulness of breathing? If you've had a busy day, your mind is racing, you're restless. Just stay with the first stage of mindfulness of breathing, mindfulness of your body sitting here. If you want to develop your attention skills, particularly one-pointed attention, develop your fixed concentration, the ability to settle and suppress the hindrances, then practice mindfulness breathing up to the stage of mindfulness of in and out breathing and the experience of the breath. If you want to develop insight, you follow the practice through to the mindfulness of your whole body breathing, opening to whatever you're experiencing now and also softening. Now these stages, even though in, when I guide the meditation seem slow, to the more advanced meditator, we can go for each stage very fast. So you can go from grounding mindfulness of in and out breath to develop some concentration to opening to your six senses within a couple of minutes. So you might be feeling something difficultly emotionally or your mind's chewing something over. You can go quite quickly to that expansion of your body and just experiencing what you're feeling now and then softening into it with each deflation. But if you're sitting in the meditation, and you go through these stages and your mind is very settled, very calm, then you should do the disentanglement pra um, practice, teaching your awareness to disentangle from sensory experience, allowing awareness to sink into or to develop stillness of mind, what we've talked about today. So this is the second talk um, on the practice covered in Am Ideal Mindfulness Training number 12 of 52, Calming the Senses. I hope this has made our mindfulness and breathing practice more clear. This is the whole structure of our um, mindfulness and breathing practice. This creates our viewing platform with its different sections and different things we can do depending on what it is we're cultivating in our meditation practice. In the following weeks, we're going to be talking about what we can do from this viewing platform. And we'll be intentionally cultivating our attention in certain ways and also developing our sensitivity to certain things, all with an end goal, disentanglement. Wonderful. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming today and joining with me and sharing. Take care of yourself and have a wonderful week. And goodbye. Thank you.